A fermata is actually a musical articulation mark that you see in sheet music, but it indicates to the player or to the conductor that the note can be held or sustained longer than what that value indicates. That was kind of a guiding principle for this exhibition, was that we would take an expansive approach, that we would ask people to sort of expand what they thought of, how they conceptualized sound. I like to think of fermata as a show that you could take in with your eyes closed, but your mind open. You're going to listen to it instead of looking at it. One of the things that we wanted to do was present this in a neutral environment, in a very neutral way, to allow people to sort of imbue it with whatever visuals they had in their heads. Like distant cities, whose lights we can see twinkling. One of the artists in the show, Lucianne Walkowitz, has work that's a translation into sound from light data gathered from stars. So it's like listening to twinkling stars, in a sense. So there is a strong visual component to the work in the show. It's not just purely something that exists in your ears. Christine Sun Kim was born deaf, but is sort of using sound in her artwork to sort of question the ownership of sound. You might have come in with the opinion where this isn't art. And, and you might, by the end of that session, or halfway through that session, you might have changed your mind about that. With something like sound, we were able to really just look at it like a blank canvas and say, how do we want to exhibit this? Because the rules are sort of still being written on it. And that's what's exciting to us about it.